Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure the RRPP. Let's begin with the RRPP application scenario. In most situations, the ring network topology is applied to MANs and enterprise networks to improve network reliability. When a fault occurs on a node or in a link between nodes, data traffic is switched to the standby link to ensure continuous coverage. However, broadcast storms may occur on a ring network. Many protocols can prevent broadcast storms on ring networks. However, if a fault occurs on a ring network, switching data traffic on the standby links may require some time. A long convergence time may interrupt services. To shorten this time and eliminate the impact on the network, Huawei has developed the RRPP. Compared to other Ethernet ring technologies, RRPP has the following advantages. Number 1. RRPP applies to networks composed of many network nodes because the convergence time is irrelevant to the number of nodes on the ring network. Number 2. RRPP prevents broadcast storms caused by data loops when an Ethernet ring is complete. And number 3. When a link on an Ethernet ring network fails, the standby link can rapidly restore the communication among the Ethernet ring network nodes. The networking on the right is used as an example to describe the RRPP configuration roadmap. Switch A, switch B, and switch C constitute a ring network. The configuration roadmap is as follows. 1. Create an RRPP domain and its control VLAN. 2. Map the VLANs that need to pass through ring 1 to instance 1, including data VLANs and control VLANs, which are used for configuring protected VLANs. 3. Configure interfaces to be added to the RRPP domain on the devices so that the data can pass through the interfaces. Disable protocols that conflict with RRPP, such as STP. 4. In the RRPP domain, configure a protected VLAN, create an RRPP ring, and configure switch A, B, and C as nodes in ring 1 in domain 1. Configure switch A as the master node, and switch B and switch C as transit nodes. 5. Enable the RRPP ring and RRPP on devices. Let's move on to the configuration procedure. First, we need to configure switch A. Create RRPP domain 1 and control VLAN 20. Pay attention to the following points. An RRPP domain is configured with two control VLANs, that is, a major control VLAN and a sub-control VLAN. You need to specify only the major control VLAN. The ID of the sub-control VLAN is the major control VLAN ID plus 1. Then create allowed data VLANs 100 to 300. Map instance 1 to control VLANs 20 and 21 and data VLANs 100 to 300. Configure GE001 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE001 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through and disable STP on GE001. Configure GE002 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE002 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. And disable STP on GE002. Specify a protected VLAN and create and enable an RRPP ring. Enable RRPP. Secondly, configure switch B. Create RRPP Domain 1 and control VLAN 20. Create allowed data VLANs 100 to 300. Map instance 1 to control VLANs 20 and 21 and data VLANs 100 to 300. Configure GE001 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE001 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through and disable STP on GE001. Configure GE002 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE002 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through 
and disable STP on GE002. Specify a protected VLAN and create and enable an RRPP ring. Enable RRPP. Thirdly, configure switch C. Create RRPP domain 1 and control VLAN 20. Create allowed data VLANs 100 to 300. Map instance 1 to control VLANs 20 and 21 and data VLANs 100 to 300. Configure GE001 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE001 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through and disable STP on GE001. Configure GE002 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE002 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through and disable STP on GE002. Specify its protected VLAN and create and enable an RRPP ring. Enable RRPP. Now let me show you how to configure RRPP on an actual device. Log into switch A and enter the system view. Create an RRPP domain. Create control VLAN 20. You only need to specify major control VLAN 20. The device automatically specifies VLAN 21 as the sub-control VLAN. Create allowed data VLANs 100 to 300. Map instance 1 to control VLANs 20 and 21 and data VLANs 100 to 300. Configure GE001 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Then configure GE001 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. Disable SCP on GE001. Configure GE002 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE002 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. Disable STP on GE002. Configure the protected VLAN on the RRPP domain. Create an RRPP ring and configure switch A as the master node of the RRPP ring. Enable the RRPP ring. Enable RRPP. Log in to switch B and enter the system view. Create an RRPP domain. Create control VLAN 20. Create allowed data VLANs 100 to 300. Map instance 1 to control VLANs 20 and 21 and data VLANs 100 to 300. Configure GE001 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE001 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. Disable STP on GE001. Configure GE002 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE002 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. Disable SCP on GE002. Configure the protected VLAN of the RRPP domain. Create an RRPP ring and configure switch B as a transit node of the RRPP ring. Enable the RRPP ring. Enable RRPP. Log into switch C and enter the system view. Create an RRPP domain. Create control VLAN 20. Create allowed data VLANs 100 to 300. Map instance 1 to control VLANs 20 and 21 and data VLANs 100 to 300. Configure GE001 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE001 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. Disable STP on GE001. Configure GE002 to be added to the RRPP ring as a trunk interface. Configure GE002 to allow VLANs 100 to 300 to pass through. Disable STP on GE002. Configure the protected VLAN of the RRPP domain. Create an RRPP ring and configure switch C as the transit node 
of the RRPP ring. Enable the RRPP ring. Enable RRPP. After the preceding configuration is complete, RRPP takes effect. On switch A, run the display RRPP brief command. The following information is displayed. RRPP has been enabled on switch A. In RRPP domain 1, VLAN 20 is the major control VLAN and VLAN 21 is the subcontrol VLAN. Switch A is the master node of major ring 1. The primary interface is GE001 and the secondary interface is GE002. On switch A, run the display RRPP verbose domain command. The following information is displayed. The RRPP ring is complete. And that is all for today guys. Thanks for listening and uh, goodbye. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? Using Google search, type in All About Switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.